All right, so instead of cleaning the garage or addressing the new project to you guys straight out of the gate, um, we're gonna do a little bit of engine prep for the Cutlass, because that is still a huge concern of mine. I want to be able to drive this thing, even though winter's coming up, and I probably won't be able to do that much. I want to get this thing functioning to where as soon as I can drive it, I can start enjoying it again. So, that being said, today we are doing piston cleanup. Because these pistons are gross. A lot of carbon buildup. So I'm going to go with these. But first, got to get rid of all this caked on crap. Ugh. First things first, I'm gonna take the rings out and then drop them in my fancy parts washer here and I'm going to try and scrub them. And if that doesn't go very well, I'm just gonna to switch to scotch Bright pad and WD-40 or some sort of a gasket cleaner like that. Okay, so all the pistons have been de-ringed and uh, my hands are raw. That was not probably the smartest thing. I'm sure most people would like wear gloves or something, but I'm not most people. So said I just did and now my fingers are not happy. But now we get to clean, clean a piston and actually see if the top is going to do what it's supposed to do. I am so excited because I love cleaning parts. Cleaning parts is like, like the Haggerty videos. Oh, it's like porn. It's so good. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> I wanna find a really gross one just to start with because I like to start with the hardest one first. Even at my job, if there's a harder job to be done, I like to do that one First, that's a contender. Bingo. That was not bad. Oh, whatever. Good enough. test here because I've heard the WD-40 does a really good job as well in breaking everything down so I don't know what part cleaner is in here I'll try and figure that out but um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything crazy but I want to try some WD-40 and I'm gonna try and hunt down some scotch bright pads and scrub it down like that so with WD-40 and a, and a soft I know probably a lot of people are cringing at this blah 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 um, I'm using a soft wire brush. That's two passes with WD-40. How do you want to do that? <laughs>
So that's really close. But I'm gonna try and find a scotch pad pad and actually get the thing properly clean so I can show you guys what a complete product looks like. What? Are you watching this? Ow. Okay, you're on my shoulder. Hey, did you know that we have a cat? Oh yeah? <laughs> what? Yeah. Look. There's New puppy alert. Pitbull chocolate lab mix. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's adorable. I'm surprised she didn't chew on the mic. She's terrified of the garage. Really? Yeah, it probably smells so weird. Oh, probably. I'm surprised she didn't start chewing on the mic because it looks like a squeaky toy. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to you guys when the piston is completely clean. I'll show you guys the finished product and then uh, and then I can you know, shout about how stoked I am for the next 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Finished product. And I'm looking for scoring from the wire brush. I'm not seeing really any. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I'm assuming these are just cast aluminum pistons. Um, probably shouldn't have used like a wire brush for that long. Probably should have just been more patient, waited and got scotch Brite pads and done that instead. But this one is clean and ready to go. And I've only got seven more. <laughs> Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison here in the three different stages. Boom. Original, untouched, fresh out of the motor. That's what it looked like. Initial little scrub down. Got a bunch of the main stuff off, but in the valve relief, so the cast pistons, is where a lot of that, since it's so porous right there because it's cast, that's where a lot of the carbon gets stuck in there very thoroughly. So here you go. Completed product. Oh, let me find a good angle here. Completed product. God, I gotta clean my freaking garage. Ugh. Yeah, so boom, one clean piston. Like I said. <laughs> Like I said, only seven more to go. But uh, I think as far as the video goes, I'm gonna close it out here. I don't wanna force you guys to watch me clean seven more pistons. And uh, the point is they're all gonna look like this anyways. And I'm super stoked because these are some nice, uh, very mild uh, recessed like flat top pistons. I don't know what size dish that is, but I'll let you guys know in the next video when I do some research on that number right there. But sweet. Hell yeah. I'm wearing a dirty glove throwing this thing around. Anyways, I hope you guys are ex as excited for my clean pistons as I am. Probably not, but uh, I certainly hope you can try because these things are sweet and this thing is going to shred tires and I'm so stoked. All right, guys. Well, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Leave a comment. Seriously, I love talking to you guys in the comment, in the comment section. Any helpful insights any sort of uh you know constructive criticism let me know i'm open to all of it i want to make these guys uh, these videos as good for you guys as i think they should be so let me know and catch you guys in the next one Trash can to clean pistons is not, not ideal.